Hi guys, Tech James here. So back in January, you guys might remember I did a video on this software called the PS Vita Dock. And basically what this software did was streamed your PS Vita screen to your PC via USB connection. So all you had to do was connect it via the USB cable, install the plugin, launch the application, and it would look like this on the screen. Now it was really good, but it had this kind of like weird line, like watermark thing, and it was really annoying and it just kind of ruined it. But now there is a brand new version and it does not have these lines on. So if you guys would like to get this um, I will leave a link to it in the description you can watch my old tutorial and follow it it's exactly the same as long as you just follow this along exactly how it is and install the latest version that I'm about to get then it will work perfectly fine I won't be talking about setting up the audio jack and the plugin because that is exactly the same in my last video so if you guys want to watch this there will be a link to it in the description but once you have done this go to the Vita dock now the last version that I got in my video was version 2.2 but if we scroll all the way up, version 4 is out. So we need to download the zip file for version 4, which is this one. So we need to get the x86 version. You can get the 32-bit or the 64-bit. Um, I'm pretty sure everyone watching will have a 64-bit computer. So we are going to download this version. So just click on it and then just wait for it to download. Okay, so once that has downloaded, let's go to our downloads folder and just find it in there. And then get the zip file, right click and then just select extract here. So this is just going to put it into our own file folder. So now we can double click on it. And the program we need to launch is vitadoc.exe. So just double click on this one. And then it will open. As you can see, it made with Unity. Just wait for it for a few seconds and then it will open. So now what we do, get our USB cable, make sure it's connected to our computer and simply go ahead and connect your PS Vita. Now that plugin should be installed, as I said before, make sure you watch my last video before following this one, but I'm pretty sure most of you might already have this installed. So let's just go and plug in my PS Vita right now. Just wait for it to connect. And there you go guys, it's now displaying over on my PC. So we can actually just close that Vita shell right now. And there we can just play the games like normal. We can full screen it and stuff like that. Now if you press enter, it's going to bring up all of the settings. So on the settings, as you can see, we've got graphics here. We can click this and we can turn change it from good to HQ to smooth. I'd recommend having it on smooth. We've got full screen. If you click that, it will go full screen mode. I'm just gonna take it out because I'm not sure what that will look like on the video. Obviously we've got audio, PC, enhanced colors, sharpness, retro style. That's just kind of this thing. And then we can click um, just to go back into it. We can just click return again. So yeah, really cool that this now works without the glitch on the screen. So this is just a lot more playable really. And you can just launch up pretty much any game you want um, so we can just launch up like Adventure Time or Doom or anything let's just launch up Age of Zombies and I'll show you guys that this works perfectly fine so yeah I thought this was pretty cool this is probably one of the easiest streaming ways I've seen and um, there was another one um, I did a video a while back that used I wanted to use OBS I think but it was really um, kind of like annoying to set up this one is just so simple and um, yeah so make sure to watch my last video on it and then make sure to get the latest version I'm just making this because I don't think many people realize this glitch has kind of been fixed well it wasn't really a glitch it was just kind of this annoying watermark thing but it's now actually been fixed completely so that's pretty much it for this video if you guys enjoyed make sure to like and subscribe and I will see you guys in the next one Thank you.